The trade-off is that as you increase the number of pulleys, you require a greater amount of rope to achieve the same result. Hence, by decreasing the effort needed to lift the load, you have to apply the force for a longer period of time. The Wheel and Axle When we have to move a real heavy load, we have to use a great deal of force to push it. This is because of friction which is the force resisting the motion of the object on the ground and gravitational force that pulls the object to the ground. The wheel and axle solves this problem in a jiffy. In this simple machine, a wheel is locked to a central axle and they rotate each other when a force is applied on either one of them. When we place a heavy load on the axle and push it, the rolling of the wheels reduces the friction to a large extent. However, the frictional force does not depend on the surface area of the object. The friction depends on its mass and what material it is made of. When there is less friction, it takes less force to move something. The effort needed to overcome the resistance acting upon the axle is relatively small. We see the wheel and axle set up in many of our day-to-day -day activities. A longer motion at the edge of the wheel is converted to a shorter, more powerful motion at the axle. In reverse, a short powerful force at the axle will move the wheel's edge at a greater distance. What is a 